Good morning, you sexy sons of bitches. It's 2.30. Good God, it's late. My new helmet has arrived. I bought an AV2. They seem fair priced. They seem to have a, a fairly legit brand on eBay. Um, they actually sell uh, replacement lenses for them. I kind of like that. I ended up getting a dual sport helmet for the shiggles. Packaging is pretty beat up. It got shipped in this box. There's a hole right there. Kind of lame that it's a branded box, but it's kind of cool that they're not wasting cardboard on extra boxes. Specialized in brain elite series. I, I don't like that the handle for the visor is on the tip. That's kind of lame. Adhesive reflectors. Oh wow, look at that. It's got some reflectors for visibility. That's cool, that's smart. It's probably cost them less than 10 cents. Um, but I guess it's better to avoid an accident than to survive it, right? It comes with a, a neat little decal. I like that. Welcome to the IV2 family. Thank you for choosing IV2 helmets. We hope you are happy with your purchase and would love to hear about it. Oh, you're gonna hear about it. Please share the experience, blah, blah, blah. Your satisfaction is top priority. If you're not completely satisfied with this product, ACP, please write to info at iv2helmets.com. You can also visit the website for IV2 Helmet product services. Latest news for more information. IV2 Helmets, blah, blah, blah. We want to see your pics. Oh, you will. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is kind of legit. Um, like I said, one of the things I don't like is that the handle for the visor is up here in the front. Um, every other helmet I've seen has it rot her on the side. Maybe it's a dual sport thing, I don't really know. But um, let's go ahead and mount the GoPro on this bitch. And let's go for a ride. I haven't been on an actual ride in over a month now. I, I rode the bike to the post office. I ruined the Honda doing wheelies. Apparently when you turn a bike from a dual shock to a mono shock uh, the stress point moves and this happens <clears throat> so yeah <laughs> uh, the Honda's indisposed of right now luckily the heist has been just a great bike more on that later I, I promised a 10,000 mile review I still haven't done it I will chillax folk anyhow let's do this Let's take some B-roll of this here Helmi in this fading sunlight. I did an unboxing video, but the GoPro was facing forward instead of down. It was on my head, so you can't really see it. So I already mounted the, the GoPro, and this time I mounted two flashlights. <clears throat> yeah, you can see... Uh, See the helmet a little better now so the helmet's really hot it doesn't have many vents I think it's got two vents on the top uh, the, the three on the chin it has two tiny exhaust vents in the middle and the back it's pretty comfortable um, <clears throat> the the padding is actually a little scratchy I took out some of the foam from the cheek pads because it fit me way too tight. Um, it does have a ratchet strap for the chin strap, which is pretty nice. Um, it's going to be a good helmet for the winter, but by next summer I'm going to have to get something. Uh, it was already October when I, well, late September when I got it. So it, weather was already cooling down a little bit, but yeah, this is not going to work in the middle of the summer. Also, another gripe I have is that it doesn't have a, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> it doesn't have a anti-fog coating on the shield um, it's whatever Ryan F9 from from Fortnite has some uh, motorcycle life hacks and the shampoo anti-fog coating kind of works <laughs> 